It's a prior roof cave in, but that combined with recent storms, Ed, uh, engineers tell us that this mill is on the brink of collapse and tonight's wind could be the final push. As long as I can remember, this has been an issue. I mean, it's so dangerous and I always remember reading stories of it collapsing, partial collapse, with people that walk by here all the time. It's just, it needs to be dealt with now. Jared Garay Pietrello and his family give this dilapidated old mill a wide berth. He says you hold your breath if you have to drive by it. I do, yeah, absolutely. It's scary, yes. I, I, I It's unbelievable. For now, no one will be driving this stretch of Broadway. The town manager tells us portions of the old Webster mill could come crashing down at any moment due to recent storms and a prior partial roof collapse. Town leaders have given the property owners 24 hours to deal with it or they will bring in a demolition crew. We've been actively communicating with the current owners for the past year about resolving and having this cleaned up. But uh, I, I think at a point now that public safety takes priority, the town's going to act if it has to. If Word that the mill may finally be raised is a huge relief to many residents here. I am so, so happy this building, something's being done with it. Michael Perrin has lived on the backside of the mill for 16 years. This father and grandfather calls it a trouble magnet. And a lot of the kids in the neighborhood go in there and they do vaping. And this has been falling apart for years and I've been worried it's only a matter of time somebody's going to die in here. And we should point out, it is really hard to tell how big this is in the dark. This this mill, you know, is like the size of a city block. And we have reached out to the property owner. No response yet. But the town will be ready to move in tomorrow if need be and take it down. Broadway will remain closed until this is resolved. We are live in North Attleboro tonight. I'm Mary Salatna, WCBB.